Aspirants vying for various seats as independent candidates in Thika have formed a caucus in readiness for the August 9th general elections. Under the umbrella of Thika Independent Candidates Forum, the candidates say that their main goal was to ensure that they won as many seats as possible in the coming elections. They resolve to embark on a joint campaign program that will see them support each other against the two main political coalitions of Azimulam Umoja and Kenya Kwanza Alliance. Those among them who defected from political parties blame their decisions on the lack of internal democracy among the parties. They alleged that the political party tickets were issued unfairly to unpopular candidates based on how much such candidates were able to bribe the officials or based on how well one was connected to the party hierarchy. They also appealed to the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, IEBC, to accord a level playing field with those vying under political parties adding that some of the conditions set for independent candidates were discriminative and unfair. Uh, my name is Juma Hemedi, an aspirant as an independent candidate for Thika Town constituency. Uh, with me, we have the Thika Independent Candidate uh, Forum, uh, comprising of uh, candidates vying for various positions as uh, MCS and uh, MPs. Today, we met to deliberate uh, on uh, a few things. Among them uh, is the issue of uh, consensus. Uh, we want, as we move forward, because we are in an election hearing uh, year, we want moving forward to be able, just like every other party that has uh, produced uh, one uh, formidable candidate, uh, we also want to make an agreement to uh, front one of us uh, in various words so that we do not have the issues of uh, candidates uh, as independents cannibalizing uh, each other or on each other's uh, grounds. Uh, the other thing that uh, we met here to discuss uh, is also the issues on the requirements uh, by the Independent uh, Boundaries and uh, Independent Elections and Boundaries Commission uh, in regard to the collection of uh, identity cards and their copies. We know in this country we have a law protecting uh, data, uh, personal data for uh, citizens and uh, we are concerned and the citizens are concerned when we are asking them for uh, photocopies. So it is part of the requirements that uh, have been put in regulations, uh, part of the IBC requirements. So we also met to deliberate on that and to see ways in which we can request the IBC to relax uh, the issue of collecting the copies of ID cards uh, so that we only have uh, ID numbers for the various supporters that we have. Uh, we also met uh, because we needed to discuss on a joint uh, campaign program and how we are going to support uh, our independent candidates right from uh, uh, the MCA moving up and uh, that is why we are here. But also on uh, the last and fourth uh, reason as to why we were meeting was to deliberate on how we are going to conduct peaceful campaigns campaigns that are free from insults, campaigns that are free from uh, violence, and to preach peace and cohesion and political tolerance to the people that uh, uh, we will be discussing or we'll be talking to. We know that uh, we have several uh, candidates from also various other parties, uh, but uh, we are saying this time round, let us try to see what independent candidates can be able to do. It has been tried before, it has been tested before here in Thika, and it can be done again. Uh, the chances are very, very uh, high and they are very, very huge. We have a total of over 7,000 uh, candidates of various positions who are contesting. And uh, with that number, it surpasses any number that uh, any political party has uh, been able to front. So that increases the chances of independent candidates uh, to clinch various positions that they are contesting on. Uh, there is, of course, uh, the issues that uh, parties or formidable alliances have in respect to resources, in respect to machineries, but independent candidates are also a force to reckon with. And I'm sure we are causing a lot of uh, sleepless nights uh, for the various uh, coalitions that are there, and we will be able to prove this after the 9th 
of August this year. Well, many of the independent candidates that uh, we have here today and many that have gone independent uh, were formerly in political parties, uh, either on the side of uh, Azimio or on the other side of uh, uh, Kenya Kwanza. Uh, and uh, it is through the issues that happen through the nominations that uh, these candidates have uh, moved to seek the alternative uh, way of contesting. So these are candidates that are already known on the ground. Many of these candidates were strong number twos or they were people who had won, uh, but uh, then due to one or the other issue, they were not uh, given the certificates. So we already have our presence on the ground. We already have candidates who have already been tried and tested uh, through the party nominations. And we also have others that have been tried through the same consensus where some have lost uh, uh, out in favor of others. But uh, now because that presence is there and uh, because we uh, believe in the protections of the law and uh, the act, uh, the elections act that uh, we will be doing, uh, what we are looking forward to is uh, credibility uh, in the elections, which we have faith in uh, through the IEBC. So we are on the ground and we have presence there and we have done a lot of uh, work. We will be rolling out uh, a program uh, jointly so that we can be able to support each other in their areas or in our areas of uh, electoral. Uh, the nominations uh, themselves had issues. Uh, there were issues uh, connected to irregularities, there were issues connected to favorism and uh, patronism. Uh, that is as far as uh, the people who participated in them are concerned. So the credibility of uh, the nominations, especially party nominations, in relation to internal party democracies and in relation to dispute resolution uh, was something that was put uh, to the test. So what uh, we are looking at is uh, fairness in the next uh, phase of election because that's where the decision will be made. Many people would uh, look at independent candidates as probably spoilers, but uh, these are people who have a vision for the world. These are the people who have visions for uh, the constituencies and visions for this country. And uh, that vision cannot be killed uh, through uh, certain kinds of a process that uh, uh, the questions on credibility arose. So what we are saying is that uh, we have a plan and uh, every candidate who's uh, behind me today and all across this country running as an independent also have equal plan, equal uh, pro programs and equal uh, visions that they want to achieve as far as their countries and uh, uh, electoral world are concerned. We are asking Kenyans to choose uh, whoever they prefer at the top there for their presidency. We have no preference uh, at that point. But uh, at uh, the lower point, we are asking the Kenyans, those that will be in contact with you, those that are very, very close to you, they're your MCS, they're your MPs, they're your governors, those are the people that you're supposed to scrutinize and uh, don't be swayed by party affiliation. Choose the individual. Well, uh, I think the first uh, stage was to resign from a political party uh, that uh, you were in uh, and get clearance from the office of the ORPP. The entire team that is here already has clearances from uh, the Office of the Registrar of Political Parties. Uh, the next uh, stage was to take those documentation and the symbol to the IEBC for uh, collections and verifications that has already been done. Uh, the next phase that we are moving into is waiting for gazettement that uh, will be happening around uh, the 13th, 13th of uh, May, uh, that is tomorrow. Uh, from there, then we collect our booklets uh, to start collecting uh, signatures uh, from uh, members of the public. However, one of the challenges that uh, will be there and challenges that uh, has been uh, uh, highlighted uh, before uh, is on the issues of uh, photocopies of the IDs. And uh, we feel that uh, there are certain conditions that have been given uh, to independent candidates and have not been given to uh, candidates of political parties. For instance, if one candidate of political party is coming with a certificate, uh, the other one is requested to come with uh, uh, photocopies of uh, IDs. Uh, this we feel needs to be looked at and uh, needs to be discussed so that it can be waived. The same way uh, IBC yesterday uh, was uh, directed by the court to relax the gender rule by uh, by the political, the register of the political parties and uh, the courts uh, is the same same way that we are also asking that uh, this uh, issue of collecting photocopies, as far as infringement of uh, individual and uh, personal uh, data is concerned, that uh, it be looked at uh, uh, keenly. In 2017, we did not have that. 
in 2013 we did not have that so it is something that uh, we can do uh, without when IBC uh, looks at it. So we are more than ready. Uh, we are prepared uh, on both areas and we have started uh, activating our teams to start collecting. All we are waiting for is for the booklets uh, to be presented by, to be made available by IBC. Eh, Komajina naitua ama najulikana kama Carlos Maina Njeri mgobea huru wa kiti cha MCA hapa hospital ward thika kwa maoni yangu mimi na kwa ile experience ambayo nilipitia kwenye chama nilichokuwepo nilihisi ya kwamba nominations hazikuwa free and fair kwa sababu lazima pale mgeenda consensus na wengine wetu walienda kwenye uchaguzi wa nominations na hakuweza kufaulu sababu kulikuwa neko na elections irregularities pale kulikuwa na wizi wa kura kulikuwa na bribery ambayo hakuna mtu yote alifuatilia na mimi nilionelea kwamba ikuwa free and fair kwa sababu kwenye chama ambazo ulikuwa na, ilikuwa ni consensus umwana inchi wa kawaida wanjiko hakuwa consulted hakuwa involved in any way lakini yule ambaye yuko na godfather ama yule ambaye yuko na hela nyingi kulishinda ule mwingine ndiye aliweza kupatiwa tikiti pale tana utilikuwa kama 1% to at most 5% of the total number of voters registered in that particular ward registered in that particular polling stations kwa hivyo na feel hayo maoni yalikuwa influenced na mambo mengi ambayo aliyokuepo kwa majina naitwa Jane Wairumo Karioki nasimama MC Goliba ward ile kitu ningesema ni ati nominations wakati mwingi huwa zinapitishwa ukiangaliwa venye mfuko wako huko na kama kwetu nitasema hiyo ndio ili happen ndio si kupata my justice kwa hivyo ile kitu ningeuliza chama wawache kuangalia mfuko ya mtu juu kama hakuna mfuko mfuko yako sio mzito hautachaguliwa juu kama imekuwa kama biashara unapata chama ina kama ile chama nilikuwa nimesimama nayo ukiingia unaambua hakuna mgombea mwingine ameingia kwa hivyo unajua ni peke yako umeingia lakini ukiingia huko mkishafika huko ndani unapata mko wa, kama wanne kama in my ward tulikuwa wanne na mwenye aliingia wa mwisho aliambua hakuna mtu mwingine ameingia kwa hivyo ni njia ya kupata pesa kama nomination fee unapata pesa unanyima mtu mwingine haki yake. Kwa hivyo maneno ya chama na pesa wacheni hiyo juu unadhurumu mtu anajikakamua kupigania hii kiti lakini juu hana pesa ana, anatupwa nje. Uh, the, the gender rule naona bado kuna shida wakati wanawake wanaangaliwa na sidhani vyama zote zimetimiza the gender rule. Kwa hivyo ile ningesema in future wacha wanawake tupatue that opportunity ndio hata sisi tusimamie hata wamama wanataka kuwa represented kwa the elective posts kwa hivyo wacha tupatue the gender rule equally wacha tuache kunyimwa haki yetu juu hata sisi ni viongozi eh, kwa majina naitwa Adan Ali Adan Ali ni mkaji wa Kameno Ward na nimesimama katika kiti ya MCA na chama ya independent na mimi ni mmoja wa minorities na ningependa wa Kenya pia waweze kuona kama tunaweza kuchaguana bila ubaguzi eh, Kenya mzima kwa sababu tuko wengi sana tumechanganyika kama thika tumechanganyika so najitolea mimi kama minority kusimama katika hiyo kiti na nipendelea pia uh, independent pia wapewe nafasi wakati huu kwa sababu mambo ya chama inaleta shida sana na watu pia wasijaribu kuchagua suti, wachague mtu. Mimi kutoka mwanzo nimesimama kama independent, sijai kwa chama yoyote na naona kama nafasi nzuri ya kuongoza watu wa mtaa yangu. Kwa majina naitwa Zablo Nomolo na mimi ni mkaji wa Thika. Nagombea kiti cha MCA hapa Thika Township Ward. Tumepewa instruction ya kwamba ndipo usimame kama mtu independent, lazima ukwe na supporters 500. Atujapewa ile 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 uwezo wa ku wa ku simama kama wale wengine tu unakuta mtu member wa chama cha chama choyote anaingia chama bila bila kuitishwa ID hiyo ni member lakini sisi ndio tupeleke wale members 500 lazima wakuje na ID kwa hivyo naona hapa si fair